you very much. It, is, it is an honor and a privilege to deliver a statement on this auspicious occasion on behalf of all my colleagues of the Forum of NGOs in the work of the 75th Ordinary Session of the African Commission on Human and People's Rights as its spokesperson. Allow me at the onset to extend our warm congratulations to the Honorable Chairperson, the Vice Chairperson, and all distinguished members of the Human Rights Institution and all its stakeholders, partners, as they prepare to celebrate 20 years of the Maputo Protocol. This is surely a time to review past challenges, achievements, successes, and to contemplate on the future direction for the promotion and protection of human rights in Africa. In the same vein, we would like to recognize that the Universal Declaration of Human Rights would also be 75 years old this year. It would therefore be in order to observe a moment of silence for all victims of human rights violations, illegal migration, and conflict, especially for the victims of gender-based violence around the continent, as well as those victims of the latest conflicts in Chad, in DRC, in Ethiopia, and Sudan, and their families. We sincerely hope that their families and loved ones will find comfort in knowing that the human rights community cares as we continue to pray for the peaceful repose of the departed souls. On behalf of the Governing Council of the African Center, as well as my colleagues from the steering committee and participants of the, of the NGO Forum, we would want to thank the chairperson and all members for the singular honor affording us this opportunity. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the Forum also wishes to express its appreciation to the government and people of the Republic of the Gambia, the smiling coast of Africa, for uh, the hospitality extended to participants uh, and the continued support extended to the African Commission. Approximately 120 participants uh, were at the Forum from 24 African countries and um, we have been able to come up with seven country resolutions on Chad, on DRC, Eswatini, Sudan, Tunisia, and Zimbabwe. Thematic resolutions on the pre- and post-electoral violence in Africa, highlighting Nigeria, Senegal, and Zimbabwe. We also looked at armed conflict, and the Sahel, highlighting Burkina Faso, DRC, and Mali. Eleven thematic recommendations were also part of the outcomes, and we have recommendations on the AFTA, the African Union reforms on human rights mechanisms, on corruption, ecocide, extractive industries, freedom of association and assembly, highlighting Chad, freedom of expression and access to information, human rights defenders, older persons, rights of older persons and persons with disability, prison, con prison and conditions of detention, and finally, the rights of women. In keeping with the AU theme of the year 2023, the forum adopted the theme, the year of the after, accelerating the implementation of the African continental free trade area. In reviewing the important uh, subject of utmost importance, the essence of creating an enabling environment for businesses while, while the respect for human rights remains paramount was emphasized. Uh, the forum calls for collaboration among stakeholders and the recognition that the promotion of sustainable economic growth and protection of human and people's rights are interdependent and cannot be negotiated. 
it was also recognized that women play a key role in trade and the need to empower them at all levels was emphasized. High on the agenda is the situation of human rights in Sudan caused by clashes between the two parties, namely the Sudan armed forces and the rapid support in that, con in in that country, which has resulted in an exodus to neighboring countries. We urge the African Commission and member states to support the call for the United Nations Human Rights Council to convene a special session and to establish an investigative and accountability mechanism that addresses the alleged human rights violations and abuses in Sudan. Additionally, the two factions must be urged to continue the ceasefire without conditions in order to safeguard and guarantee the lives of and integrity of citizens. The forum applauded the government of Guinea for taking into account and for commercing proceedings in the alleged cases of rape and sexual abuses and human rights violations that took place almost a decade ago on September 28th. The fight against impunity should be relentless and trust that together the states would take steps to ensure that perpetrators have no place wheresoever to hide. On constitutional changes of government and its attendant challenges remains a cause for concern in a number of countries, including Chad, Guinea, Mali, and Sudan, where serious and massive human rights violations are being perpetrated against civilian populations, serious challenges which call for a constant and increasing strengthening of the protective and protect promotional mandate of the Commission. The forum had uh, some key perspectives on the relevance for Africa to recognize ecocide as a crime. This was a relatively new subject, but the campaign was launched to ensure that new legal landscape protect ecosystems and local communities from harm. The Forum therefore urges the African Commission to include ecocide as a priority area and to consider adopting it as a crime against humanity under the rule statutes, thereby extending accountability for severe environmental harm to key decision makers at the global level. In the true spirit of the African Union's Constitutive Act, in which the heads of states of Africa professed a common vision of a united and strong Africa, energized by partnership between governments and all segments of civil society. Representatives of this forum, while affirming their commitment to the reinforcement of this partnership with the African Union and all its organs, not the least the African Commission, in the forefront of human rights, good governance, and the rule of law. However, the forum was concerned about the proposed reform of its human rights mechanism, which without prejudice may curtail the achievement of the objectives expressed above in the AU Constitutive Act, as well as Aspiration 6 of Agenda 2063. The forum, as citizens of Africa, therefore, calls on the African Union Commission to give due consideration to the unique place of the African Charter within the system and to strengthen rather than weaken its conspicuous command in the human rights arena globally. The forum participants have continued to, de to demonstrate their dedication to the work of the African Commission, especially in these hard times, by their enthusiastic and passionate contributions to the preparations leading to their participation in this session. As I conclude, I would like to extend the appreciation of the forum to partners who have accompanied the forum during these sessions. And uh, they are mainly IPAS, uh, Ford Foundation for West Africa, Open Society, you know us, and the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights in West and Eastern Africa. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the African Center, and indeed the participants of the Forum of NGOs, 
We wish the Honorable Chairperson and the Vice Chairperson and all members of the African Commission fruitful deliberations and a successful session. I thank you for your kind attention.